Hi guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to update your uh, graphics card with GPU vBIOS. Um, so I bought recently like the um, Parker uh, Red, Red Dragon RX 5600XT and uh, apparently like, there is an, uh, a BIOS update that you can do to increase the performance. Um, so if you have like a GPU, uh, especially for AMD cars, uh, I don't think um, like Nvidia cars are necessary, but most AMD cars they need to be updated uh, in the BIOS uh, just to increase the performance and that can help you to increase the performance and also um, solve some of your uh, uh, temperature problems and the fan speed problems so when I first bought the card I needed to update the uh, uh, the bias to just to increase the performance so I'm going to show you how to do that first so if I have since I have like a power color red dragon card I need to go to the power color website to get their bias from so here I can go to support or download <coughs> and I select my card RX5600 and mine is a red dragon so is this one so I'm just gonna click download and I'm gonna download it but if you have like a card from Sapphire or from MSI for example you need to go to their website and get the bias from there um, just make sure you get the correct version of your card also there's a, um, uh, a website called tech power up uh, that you can go and um, you can get the bias from this website as well I'll leave the link in the description so you can go to like downloads and I think it should be in the BIOS somewhere. Uh, database v BIOS collection, and you can select AMD or an NVIDIA. Uh, Car vendor that's your manufacturer. So mine is like power color model. Uh, 5600 XT and these are the BIOS versions that are available just make sure you download the correct one so mine is like a red dragon so I can use one of these you can also look at the BIOS date so this is the latest one 17th March 2020 you can also download that but I'm gonna download it directly from the official website this is safer that way so I've downloaded that and you'll need another tool called uh, ATI flash AMD v VB flash so you can download that as well I'll leave the link in the description okay so since you have these two downloaded you need, I'm gonna go to downloads folder and extract them okay so here you can see that there is two ROMs one is a OC which is the overclock one and the, there is a silent one as well I'm gonna use the OC one um, so but first we need to launch this ATI flash make sure you run it as an administrator and you need to select load image but first I suggest you need to save your exist existing BIOS just in case anything happens so you can save it anywhere just like backup. backup. Dot wrong. 
Okay, since we have already backed up, we can uh, carry on with the flash. So, you go to this folder and select the OC one. So since mine is already updated, I'm not going to do it, but once you do that, you select program and then it should say successful and then it will ask you to reboot your machine and sh you should be good to go. Uh, I'm going to leave the download links in the description. This is a really easy method. Um, uh, you do this at your own risk, but I suggest that you do a backup first before you do anything. Uh, but this is a good way to get more f more performance from your card and also it will fix any issues. Um, but if you have any questions, please leave me a comment and then I'll help you out. Uh, and please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.